Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see about uh, the multiple choice question and answer from the two antenna. One is log periodic antenna and another one is a loop antenna. So the first question, uh, so you see uh, which antenna does not uh, depends on the frequency. Log periodic antenna, folder dipole, Yagi Yuda, microstrip antenna. So the answer is log periodic antenna. The log periodic antenna, it is a one of the example for frequency independent antenna. So this antenna, uh, it does not depends on the frequency. So the log periodic array is the answer. Okay, the next one, which one of the following statement is true for log periodic antenna? So the log periodic antenna is which category? Frequency dependent antenna, frequency independent antenna, directional antenna, none of the above. Frequency independent antenna, log periodic, it's example for frequency independent antenna. So the, the properties of uh, this antenna parameter, it does not change with respect to the frequency. That's why the name is called as frequency independent antenna. The next one, the impedance and the directivity changes with frequency in log periodic array. So the statement is true or false. Okay, the impedance and the directivity. So you know the impedance directivity, these are all the parameters of the antenna. So for log periodic array antenna, the impedance and the directivity changes with the frequency uh, statement is given. So it's a no, okay. So the impedance and directivity does not change with respect to the frequency in log periodic. Since the log periodic antenna is a frequency independent antenna. So the no is the answer. Then the log periodic antenna is a frequency independent antenna, yes. Okay, so the statement is true. Then log periodic antenna is a wide band antenna. Okay, so this is a wide band antenna. Yes, it is also correct. So one of the example for wide band antenna is a log periodic antenna. Okay, then the log periodic antenna is a uniform linear array. Okay. So log periodic antenna is an array. Okay, so it's one of the example for array, log periodic uh, dipole array. Okay, the name of the log periodic antenna is a log periodic dipole array. But uh, uh, this antenna, it's not a uniform linear array. So uniform linear array means all similar antennas. Okay, so similar, n number of similar antennas are uh, uh, that is spaced in an equal distance means that is called as a uniform linear array. But in log periodic antenna, we are using dipole, but each dipole is having different size. Okay, so not exactly all dipoles are lambda by two dipole. So the dipole, uh, we are using different uh, dipole in log periodic. So that's why the log periodic antenna is not a uniform linear array. So the answer is no. The next one, the number of dipoles in log periodic antenna is a function of dash, okay number of dipole in log periodic antenna is a function of desired gain, desired bandwidth, uh, wedge angle, then a designed bandwidth and scale factor. So the number of dipole in a log periodic antenna is a function of designed bandwidth and scale factor. Okay, then uh, uh, how do the elements of an active region behave? So in this log uh, periodic uh, dipole array, so we are dividing that array into the three region, active region, uh, transmission region, reflective region. Okay, these are all the three types of uh, three region depending upon the uh, length of the, uh, depending upon the, the size of the dipole, we are classifying into three region. So that is center region, it is called as an active region. So in this active region, so how do the elements behave? The elements behaves like a resistive, okay. Uh, then the next one, if the length of the elements of an array is greater than lambda by two, which will be the operating region of an array. Okay, so that is called as a reflective region. In a reflective uh, region, the we are using the dipole, that dipole, the dipole element, it is having the length is greater than lambda by two. Okay, so in a center region, active region, uh, we are using the dipole of uh, the length is approximately equal to lambda by two. In the first region, transmission line region, uh, the dipole is having the length less than lambda by two. Uh, this is the reflective region, the third region. In reflective region, the elements, uh, the length of the element is greater than lambda by two. 
then the next one how do the elements of reflective region behave okay so in reflective region the elements we are using uh, the array element it is having the length greater than lambda by 2 so in that case uh, that elements it will work like a uh, inductive in nature okay similarly how do the elements of transmission line behave so in a transmission line of this uh, long periodic dipole array that elements it behaves like a capacitive in nature okay so the first uh, thing it's a transmission line in a transmission line the array element it is acting as a capacitive in active region it is uh, working as a uh, resistor in uh, that is a uh, uh, in the next region uh, that is uh, in the reflective region it is working as a inductive in nature okay then the next one dash antennas consist of a regular arrangement of array elements with a feed network okay dash antennas consist of regular arrangement of array element with a feed network aperture antenna array antenna printed antenna wire antenna array okay array means the similar uh, that is the similar antennas similar antennas uh, or uh, similar antennas in a regular arrangement it is called as a and array okay antenna array or array antenna the array antenna consist of the regular arrangement of antenna element with a feed network the pattern characteristics such as beam pointing angle side loop level can be controlled by adjusting the amplitude and phase excitation of the array element okay so we will see the array or uh, that is a uh, different types of array in the third unit okay the next one which one is not a frequency independent antenna so already you know the log periodic antenna as an example for frequency independent antenna so but the, here the question is that which one is not a frequency independent antenna so log periodic is a frequency independent antenna spiral antenna it is also a frequency independent antenna dipole antenna it is not a frequency independent antenna so this is a frequency dependent antenna so depending upon the frequency the parameters of the dipole it will vary okay then biconical antenna biconical antenna is a frequency independent antenna the next one a loop antenna is used for dash okay the main application of uh, the loop antenna it is the direction finding okay so the loop antenna is used for direction finding it's a very important question it's a main application of the loop antenna then the next one the radiation pattern of loop antenna is uh, what is the shape so the radiation pattern of the loop antenna it is in the circular in nature radiation pattern of loop antenna it's a circular in nature okay then the directivity of the loop antenna is dash okay so these are all the some constant answers so you just remember the directivity of the loop antenna it's a 1.5 okay 1.5 then the next one based on the size of loops the loop antennas are classified as small and large loop this is the only classification of loop antenna it's a true or false okay so based on the size the loop antennas are classified as a small loop antenna and a large loop antenna but this is not the only classification so depending upon the uh, shape of the loop uh, there are so many classifications are there okay that is square loop antenna uh, then uh, first uh, using the number of turns uh, single turn antenna multi turn and multi turn loop antenna okay depending upon the uh, uh, shape of the loop uh, it is a square antenna then a uh, rectangle antenna circle antenna there are so many types that so the answer is false okay so this is a one of the classification then the remaining classification is also there okay then the next one according to the directivity of small loop uh, which value of theta contributes to achieve the maximum value of radiation intensity okay so for uh, which value of the theta the maximum value of radiation intensity occur in a small loop so the theta equal to 90 degree okay so in a 90 degree the maximum value of radiation intensity can achieve okay so the next question from the radiation point of view the small loops are dash radiators okay uh, small loops okay small loop mean the loop sizes depending upon the loop size we are classifying the loop antenna into two thing one is small loop antenna and a large loop antenna so for a small loop antenna 
uh, that is uh, the small loop or dashed radiators. It's a poor radiator, good radiator, better radiator, excellent radiator, poor radiator. Okay. On which factor does the radiation field of small and small loop depend? Okay. So what are all the factors that affect the radiation field of small loop? It's a shape, area, both A and B, none of the above. Okay, so the factor, the area of the small loop, it uh, that is a factor uh, which affect the radiation field of small loop antenna. Okay, so not a shape, the area, depending upon the area of the small loop, the radiation field, it will vary. Okay, next one, in an electrically large loop, okay, and overall length of the loop is equal to dash. So we are classifying, you know, the two types, small loop and large loop. So in a large loop, what is the overall length of the loop antenna? It's a lambda, okay? So if uh, the overall length is lambda means, nearly equal to lambda means, that is called as a large loop. Then in uh, electrically small loop, the overall length of loop is dash one-tenth of the wavelength, okay? Overall length of the loop is less than uh, one-tenth of the wavelength. That is lambda divided by 10, okay? If the length of the small, that is uh, which loop is said to be the electrically small loop means if the length is less than lambda divided by 10. Okay, so one tenth of the wavelength means that the loop or call it as a small loop. Large loop means the overall length is equal to lambda. Okay, these are all the thing. Then the next one, loop antennas are used in dash. Okay, so already you know the main application of loop antenna is a direction finding. Okay. So in VAR means in a, this loop antenna are used in radio receivers as well as the aircraft receivers for direction finding. In order to calculate, a, uh, in order to find the di direction finding, we are using the loop antenna in a radio receiver as well as the aircraft receivers. These are all the main application of loop antenna. Then the next one, the loop antenna is always circular in shape. It's a true or false. Okay, the loop antenna always circular in shape. Okay, no, there are different types of uh, uh, the shape is there. The loop antenna, it can be, uh, is in the square format, uh, then rectangle format. Okay, then the diamond shape, uh, circular in nature. Okay, so there may be so many uh, shape is there. So it's a false. Then the loop antenna may have several turn. Yes, okay. So in loop antenna, there are two types there. One, depending upon the number of turns, single turn, multi-turn. So the loop antenna may have several turn also. Okay, it's a true. Then which of the following antenna produce a vertical radiation pattern? Uh, dipole antenna, Yagi antenna, uh, Marconi antenna, and Hertz antenna. So out of this, uh, which antenna produces the vertical radiation pattern? Means the Marconi antenna produces the vertical radiation pattern. The next one, which one of the following is not a wideband antenna, okay. Uh, Marconi antenna, helical antenna, rhombic antenna, folded dipole. The Marconi antenna, it's not a wideband antenna, okay. The remaining all are wideband antenna. Uh, this uh, log periodic array is also a wideband antenna. Then which one of the following is a low gain, but omnidirectional antenna, okay. So which uh, that is here, log periodic, loop, helical and uh, dicone okay so in this which one is a low gain low gain and omnidirectional antenna means it's a the dicone antenna is, is a one of the uh, low gain and omnidirectional antenna okay so these are all the some of the questions uh, about uh, the log periodic antenna array and the loop antenna okay so uh, thanks for watching my channel uh, please subscribe my channel for more videos. In the next video, we will see about uh, some more antenna. Okay, thank you.